Good morning. It is Easter morning. Hallelujah. So glad to see you today. Today, Easter of all days, we celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. And we're thankful for that. For we left on Good Friday with a, a feeling of sadness, perhaps. Today, let us read again from our Spark Bible as we consider Mark 16, verses 1 through 8. The empty tomb. But before we begin, let's pray. Lord, we are happy today. We are happy at the thought that you rose from the dead so that you can come back into our life and so that we know who you are and we can connect with you and that we have the promise of rising from our own lives into eternity with li lived with you. Pray that again. Let us pray. Lord, we are happy today. We celebrate Easter morning and love the thought that you rose from the dead and have shown us that we someday will also rise from the end of life and live with you in all of eternity. And so this day, as we hear your word, let it sink in, let it make us happy, let it be a celebration for us. Let us now read from Mark, verse 16, 1 through 8. The Gospel of Mark. The empty tomb. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. Brr, it was cold in there. Drip, drop, it was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof! Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell at his feet. Wait! She knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait! She knew that hand. She looked up. Yes! She knew that smile. It was Jesus! Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The woman hugged his feet and shouted with joy, Go tell the others the good news that I am alive. Jesus said, I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone that Jesus was alive. What would you have done if you were one of those women who saw the angel in the cave? Now think, they went to take care of Jesus. They knew him to be dead and they were going to prepare his body, clean him up. And they found he wasn't there. Not only he wasn't there, but an angel appeared and told them he was alive. 
And when they ran away, when Mary ran away, she ran right into Jesus. And he told her, go tell everyone I'm alive. I will meet them in Galilee, and I can't wait to see them again. That's an amazing story. It's something we can take hope in. That Jesus is alive. Jesus rose from the dead to show us the way. And he lives again today. Side by side with God the Father. He lives, he rose to heaven. To be there for us. And to show us the way into eternal life. A good life awaits us after this life. So we have no reason to fear. For Jesus will open the door and let us in. That's a great thing. I wish this Easter morning is a blessing to you. I hope your family enjoys the time together. I hope you're able to have a good meal together. And to laugh. Maybe to sing. Maybe to look for some things. Some treats. Maybe even to just celebrate hugs and kisses with grandparents and parents. And for all of that, I hope your life is very happy today. And I hope that you can think about the beautiful message of Jesus rising from the dead and giving us that joy again. So go now into the world as Mary was told by Jesus and tell people that Jesus is alive. And have a great and a happy Easter. Amen and hallelujah. Take care now.